everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV on a nice, sunny, warm summer day here in Fort Worth, Texas. Guess what's trickling in 2022 models? Behind me sits a J-Flight SLX-8 284 bunkhouse model. It's a 2022. A lot of neat new features that come out in 2022, and I'm happy to show those to you. Before I get started, I want to show you some of the neatest top three new features in 2022. Number one, the roof system. Jayco in 2022 has upgraded to a Diflex 3, a generation 3 roofing material. What's significant about that? It's a 20 year warranty. Fantastic improvement. Number two, now we have an option to have modern farmhouse interior decor on an SLX 8. Love it. Number three, we've gotten rid of all the carpet in the slide room, even on the SLX 8. No more carpet, it's all luxury vinyl. Let's do a walk around on the outside here and then we'll go inside and take a peek. First of all, you'll notice that the color, we're in a polar white. Jayco has upgraded the exterior color to what they're calling polar white. You'll see a slight difference in the uh, graphics package over the 2021 models. A lot of things are gonna remain consistent and if you've watched my videos, you've seen these before. This might be the first video you're watching so we'll point them out for you. you know, notice we've got nice pass-through storage here. This box is in here because it's still got some items left from shipment. You might notice another change. Notice that this is now enclosed from what was previously open for under the bed area. So now we have a separate closed off pass-through storage area. There's also storage on the inside underneath the bed. Nice clean pass-through storage. Now we're in an SLX-8. You've heard me say this before. SLX, slightly less expensive. We got matching twin propane bottles here. We have an electric tongue jack that's lighted. This makes leveling, hooking up and unhooking super, super easy. Notice we have our diamond plate right up here to protect from rocks and so on, getting tossed up against the front of the coach. Keeps it looking nice. Here's the opposite side of our pass-through storage. Now we have uh, stabilizers on all four corners. These are manual stabilizers. So the last thing you're gonna do when you get the coach level and unhooked, you're gonna drop these stabilizers down to minimize movement inside the coach. The very last thing you do. Again, this is our new graphics package in 2022. Outdoor shower, gotta have an outdoor shower. Hot and cold, handy right here. Um, also, kind of behind this uh, slide affords a little bit of privacy if you're going to do an actual shower out here. You know, you come back from the beach want to rinse off the salt water from the ocean or whatever. City water connection and then a black tank flush valve. Big fan of these. It helps keep your black tank clean. Hook up a hose to that while you're breaking camp. Turn it on. Make sure your valves are open and let it run. Really does a nice job rinsing out the black tank. Of course. Nicely labeled uh, valve locations here for your gray water and your black water valves. Again, we're in an SLX-8, full-size spare tire, detachable 50 amp power cord back here. So we've got 50 amps of power. You're not gonna be anemic on power needs on here. We have two air conditioner units on this as well. Of course, this is your water heater access. Pop this door down. This gives you access to drain it, um, do maintenance items, winterizing, and so on. Roof ladder. Have a nice little outdoor kitchen area here. Pop up this door. Nice magnet catches here. Uh, instead of those plasticky things, plasticky is now a word that I've coined. Plasticky. Magnet catches, this stays up here. Nice little drink refrigerator. Keep your beverage, oh, and hey, it's working, Brian. Nice there, we should have had some beverages in there for the middle of this video. Nice countertop area and a sink. You'll notice immediately that in 2022, Jayco has changed to black fixtures, and you'll notice that inside and throughout the inside of the coach. All black fixtures, little utensil drawer, and then underneath here, we have an LP Quick Connect right here. 
So that makes it easy to pop a grill, a hook up a grill of your choice, whether it's a Blackstone griddle or a grill that you already have, and that's plumb to the propane bottles up in front of the coach already. Really handy. Now our awning's out. Look at all this awning real estate we have out here. Your picnic table's gonna be right here at the campsite. Beautiful awning, LED light strip underneath. Here's a change from 2022. Uh, 21 to 22 is they've put the speakers in the outside wall, presumably to improve the speakers. The speakers in the awning arms before were kind of neat and they worked fine. Uh, these are, are likely, well, they're certainly bigger, so odds are they sound a lot better. I haven't put them to the test yet, but that's a change here in 2022. This is the Solera awning, which is true on all the Jayco units. Love this for a number of reasons. These are reliable. It's got a pull down to pitch feature. So let's say our picnic table's up there and it's raining, the water's dripping down on your picnic table and you'd rather have the water shedding off on this side. Here's how easy it is to do that. Grab right here, pull down. Now we've just pitched the whole awning this way. Our water's running down on this side. Maybe you want to have more shade coming in from this angle or that angle. You can do the same on either side. Sun's coming from this direction. I want more shade here. Let's just pitch this down. And now that provides more shade on this side. Also has a five pound sensor, if you will. It's not an electronic sensor. It's a mechanical sensor. At five pounds, if it senses that much weight up on the awning from rain pooling, you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna relax itself and let itself dump. That'll protect your awning fabric. Nice feature. Have our potable water fill here. It's a gravity fill. Uh, you've heard me mention this before. If you're taking off on a trip and there's gonna be water there, and there probably is, don't fill this up. You're just dragging a lot of weight unnecessarily. Water weighs over eight pounds a gallon. You fill this up and you're carrying hundreds of pounds of weight but you don't necessarily have to unless you're taking off to points unknown and you won't have fresh water. Just a little quick tip there to keep you uh, as light as possible during travel. Of course, our cable satellite antenna hookups here. Now, if we wanna have a television out here, there's a bracket right here to mount that TV. I'll show you inside where it lives right now. We have electric hookups and of course your cable TV hookups right here. So, pop our TV here plug it in, plug in the coax, and now we have TV in here just like we have on the inside of the coach. Let's go inside and have a look on the inside. We have these nice Moride steps. Uh, one of the fantastic improvements of the last several years are these Moride steps. Uh, make firm contact with the ground so when you're going in and out, you're not transferring motion inside the coach to stow them for travel you simply lift up this little guy is going to latch right there and now we're in the travel position when it's time to deploy the steps pull that out lower the steps if you need to adjust these feet you can if you're on uneven ground lower it down boom just like that let's go inside and have a look Hey folks, now we're inside this 284 BHS. It's a 2022 model. Just for dimensions, we're about 33 feet long. We're about 6,500 pounds dry weight. Let's say 7,500 to 7,800 pounds fully loaded. Lots of room in here, big on features, but won't break the bank. We're inside this thing, air conditioner's running. Speaking of which, we have two air conditioners on this. It's a 50 amp coach, so we have an AC here, have a second AC that's in the bedroom. So you have a lot of uh, options to control the temperature to suit your needs. Look how spacious this is. This is a slide room that is of course deployed right now. One of the things I love about this floor plan in particular is the viewing angle to the TV right here, right across. I'm not craning my neck over to the left or the right to watch TV. Um, right here, nice comfortable seating. You can also view the TV from any position in the dinette. Now I'm sitting on a trifold sofa. This will deploy to become a sleeping area. This table in the dinette 
will drop down to become a bed base and this, is, this entire area uh, is a 76 inch sleeping area for a tall person. Of course we have double bunks in the back and we have a queen bed in front so all told we can sleep eight plus people in this unit comfortably. Lots of elbow room, plenty of room, but again, we're not breaking the bank on this unit. Speaking of those bunks, let's start back here and I'll work my way forward. So here, check out these bunks. These are double bunks and by Jayco's definition, that means double wide in this case. You can put two people up here comfortably, as long as you like each other, two people down here. That means it's 600 pound weight capacity here, 600 weight capacity on top. That's way more than the competition. So I'm not suggesting you put it to the test, but rest easy, literally, knowing that you can sleep two adults or maybe grandmom and a grand granddaughter can sleep up here together comfortably and safely. Another thing I like about this is the huge shower. Whoa, big shower, lots of room in here. Obviously we have a skylight up here. Notice that we've, uh, in 2022, Jayco has moved to all black fixtures, updated the look a little bit. So uh, both in the kitchen and the bathroom, everywhere you see, they're gonna have black fixtures. But I love this shower, lots of room to maneuver. Of course, we have a foot flush commode. Um, I always get dinged if I don't mention the commode. There's one in here, folks, right there she is, and she's a beaut. Little sink here and a mirror. Uh, again, we have our nice, classy black fixtures. Now, coming out into the living area. Again, great TV viewing area right across from the sofa. Nice, big television. Um, you can actually adjust it a little bit as needed to angle it over toward the dinette if you want to. You can stream music via Bluetooth through this entertainment center. Pair your phone to this and now you can push music to those speakers that I referenced out on the patio or through the speakers in the ceiling above here. Nice storage on either side with the smoked glass insert. Good time to brag about Jayco's cabinetry. Solid maple cabinet doors throughout on every Jayco. All of these styles are glued and screwed together and the whole assembly is screwed to the exterior of the coach making for really solid cabinet build. Nice storage underneath here as well. Again, we have our black fixtures now, an update in 2022. But wait, there's more as they say. How about that? You actually have closet storage here and tall closet storage. And then full extension drawer glides on all the drawers. Love that feature, sounds silly. I always brag about it. These drawers come all the way out with 75 pound drawer glides. It's the little things folks that make a trip really, really that much more special, like being able to get to the stuff that you frittered away in a drawer. Lots of storage. Now we have a nice, beautiful 12 volt refrigerator. What's beautiful about it? My favorite thing is it actually keeps my water cold. I'm thirsty. It's two cubic foot bigger than a standard RV refrigerator because it's a compressor fridge. Look how deep that is. It looks very residential. It works just like a residential refrigerator. This is where Brian keeps his camera to keep it cool, right? This thing gets overheated on a hot day. Really, really like the 12 volt refrigerators. A lot of people say, well, I want a dry camp, so that's not gonna work. This is always running off 12 volts, never running off propane. Yes, you can dry camp with this. It'll be running from your battery uh, or batteries uh, constantly. When you're going down the road, you're charging those batteries from the charge line of your truck. When you're plugged up to shore power, you're charging those batteries. If you opt for solar, you'll be charging those batteries. And finally, you can always uh, have a small generator that will charge those batteries. So you can very much still dry camp with a 12 volt refrigerator, but have the added benefit of performance and more refrigerator space. Nice three burner cooktop. I like these fancy backlit dials right here. This whole assembly lifts out of here for easy cleaning. This is your backsplash, or you can use it as a cover 
to add for a little more space up here. Roll it away and you have a nice backsplash. Modest size oven, plenty big enough for pot pies, pizzas, and so on. Always get this question, what's this black box down here? This is where all your fuses and your breakers are. So your 120 volt, volt breakers, 12 volt fuses up here, they're all labeled right here to know what they go to, what they control. If you have an electrical issue, an outlet's not working, some uh, component on the coach is not working, the first place I would go to and check is all these breakers and check these fuses. Got a vented range hood with a light under here and it's vented to the outside so that gets that uh, all those uh, frying food smells and the bacon out of the coach so you can tempt your neighbors. Nice little microwave above. Again, we're, we have the modern farmhouse option. We didn't used to have a modern farmhouse option in the SLX 8s. It was so popular that now we can offer it in the SLX 8s. Plenty of storage above and below the sink area. Perfect time on cue to talk about Jayco's warranty. It truly is unmatched. Virtually every other manufacturer offers a one-year warranty. You'll often see stickers on other brands that say three-year warranty, three-year warranty. What they're talking about is the three-year structural warranty which last time I checked, pretty much everybody offers. That's structural, that's the integrity of the frame, the box itself. Rarely, very rarely do we ever see any uh, structural issues with any brands, truly. But the two year limited warranty covers all these components in here. The slide mechanism, um, stuff with motors in here, that's two full camping seasons. That's a long shakedown period and an industry leading warranty. Something that Jayco's had for a long time and it's also a big reason why Jayco's retain their value by the tune of eight to nine, sometimes 10% more than the competition. They're just a better built box. Nice double basin sink with a classy gooseneck black uh, faucet fixture here. Very nice, very classy. Of course, we have storage underneath here. And here's those full extension drawer glides that I was telling you about for utensils underneath the sink. More storage here. I like these little cubby holes here where you can, uh, you know, fold up jackets, towels, toys, uh, stash the laptop, what have you in there. Open this up and we have nice storage up here, and storage below. You just can't have too much storage. We're in a 33 foot long trailer, so it's not a huge trailer. And yet, we have a lot of room to, st to store things. You figure where if we're in a coach like this with all these bunks, chances are we've got kids along, maybe another couple, maybe a couple couples. So everybody's gonna have their stuff that they bring along. It's important to have a place to stow everything. There's little details that Jayco does that I'm, I'm glad they think of. Where are you gonna hang the jacket or the hat when you come right in the door here? They think of it. Of course, these are black to match the other fixtures. Coming into the bedroom. Now the front AC is on and it's fully ducted and I can feel the air coming out here. So even though we have a second AC in the bedroom, and if we want to crank it down to 60 degrees down here, we certainly can, but it's still ducted. So I can move these guys around to suit, you know, my temperature, you know, zone that I want in here. Cool air is pumping out of there right now. So even if you don't have this on, you can still keep it pretty comfortable out, out inside here. And it's super hot here in Texas today. Now we have light switches on either side and notice these little uh, outlets. So it's CPAP prepped, if you will. So, um, if you're a person that needs CPAP machine right here, and you can also, of course, tr charge your cell phone, your, your iPad, what have you, and room to lay a book, bottle water on either side. So there's actually nightstand areas on either side. Cool blue lighting, which is nice, uh, aesthetically pleasing, especially if it's super dark. Uh, that's just enough nightlight to find your way around. You can, these little, have little switches on them individually as well as the wall switch. Then we have uh, storage on either side of the bed here. 
where you can hang clothes and there's shelves on that side. Now, I spy something. Look at here. We have a solar charge controller unit right here. That tells me that this unit already has solar on board. So we have solar and this charge controller. So that means we can be charging that refrigerator uh, perpetually. So the sun's doing its job. It's uh, keeping the batteries happy, which are in turn keeping all of the 12 volt components happy inside here. Nice spacious uh, uh, a bedroom here. This is a uh, that key block mount up here on the wall that I referenced uh, outside. This is the same mount that is on the patio side. There's a bracket that pops in this. If you want to take the TV out of here, put it on the patio. You just release it. It's a little lever. Sorry, I don't have it for display right here. Unhook your connections, take it out on the patio, and you're good to go outside. Also, I should point this out, we have gas struts under this, and like I said, now uh, this area is enclosed instead of being open to the space underneath that pass-through storage that we looked at outside. Now it's enclosed. So now we have a separate compartment here to put shoes and blankets and so on, separate from the pass-through storage out there, which might be more like patio items and lawn chairs and fishing poles that maybe you don't want rolling around, and this is stuff you want to keep a little cleaner, like linens and so on. Guest strut keeps this up so it's not crashing down on your head. And also, when you're shopping, and you should, lift up that mattress on whatever trailer you're looking at and see what you see. Do you see plywood or particle board? You're always going to see plywood on a Jayco. That means there's plywood here. It also means there's plywood where you can't see, like under my feet. There's plywood under there. There's plywood in the roof structure. Uh, well, if you've been to a home improvement store lately to see how expensive plywood is, but it is expensive. Jayco continues to use that. It's a superior product, a stronger product um, in key areas like bed decks, flooring, and the roof system. Really like that. How long is that bed, they say? I brought a tape measure. Let's have a look. 74 inches. So we're 74 inches from um, the wall right here. Six feet tall, plus a little bit. If you're a six foot tall person like me, you can sleep in here comfortably and your feet aren't hanging off the end. Not quite residential size, but not far from it. While well, I've got the tape measure out, and a lot of people say, well, how much uh, room do I have for other sleeping positions? This is pretty cool because without these seat cushions in here, we're at 78 plus inches. Actually, it's 80 if you take these cushions out, lay them out for your uh, mattress area. You got 80 inches from here to there. That's a long sleeping area. So a tall person can sleep comfortably there. When you unfold that trifold, it's not quite as long. I believe it's right at 72 inches. So again, multiple areas, uh, comfortable sleeping areas, two, four, six, eight, nine, perhaps 10 sleeping areas in this coach all told. Again, we are in a 2022 J Flight SLX-8, Jayco J Flight SLX-8. 33 feet long and change, 6,500 pounds and change on dry weight. A lot of features in this guy. Doesn't break the bank, loaded with quality. If you want to have a look at this, come on out and give us a call. Uh, my name's Mike. I'd love to show this thing to you in person, give you an idea, fit and finish. There's no substitute for stepping up in here and looking in person. If that's not convenient for you, I can send you a link to a 360 tour and you can have a virtual tour from home. Whatever works best for you. Again, my name is Mike, joining you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks for joining me. Check back here often. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.